let me say this, know your community. So that's part of my work, you know, I, I'm involved with public health, public safety, and public art. How I'm dressed is a, a form of public art. One, one Providence, Ocean State, Little American Pearl. One, one road, road. Ocean State, Little American Pearl, where the arts, humanities, and sciences work together with a flair, 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 making opportunities for locals and folks from everywhere. One, one property. And I wrote that song when the Community Dialogues Conference was here in Providence. I have worked in every one of the 39 cities and towns of Rhode Island. What is that thing? It's a necklace thing. Okay. <laughs> How do I feel when I dance? I can feel my spirit growing. So how long have you lived in Providence? So I grew up in New York City. And people were like, where are you going to school? I'm uh, going to Pembroke College and Brown University. And I took a little hiatus and I lived in India for a while. And then I lived in East St. Louis, Illinois for a little while. Mm. And then I came back, had some kids. And then had some grandchildren. And then I moved to Botswana in 2003. Then I've been back here since about 2008, 2009. Anyway, we're going to walk into the next block. There was a man who was a union organizer. He used to live across the street from the park. So he did guerrilla gardening. So he started planting tomatoes and squash so that the community could come and pick food. So I joined him. There's no water supply there. So I used to come down the hill with the water to water the plant. And then somebody in the neighborhood called the police. So I only did it for one summer. That's a shame in a way. We have to understand something about the neighborhoods, not just here in Providence but all over the state. Every three blocks is a mayor and a mayoress. And if you don't get it, get clearance from the mayors and the mayoresses, you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interview for Providence Art, Culture, and Tourism. We're talking about what the place used to be, what it is now, what it could be. Yeah, oh, the place to be. His wife works for RISD. The bus stop for hangout. You can have ballet here, you see? It even has a bar. Welcome to George Arujo Park. Welcome to George Arujo Park. So George Arujo was one of my teachers in the community. So I used to work in South Providence and there used to be a boxing club in South Providence. And when I was working in South Providence, doing community development, I had the occasion to work with Georgia Russo. Because I was working in South Providence at the time of really riots and violence. And, <clears throat> and he said, I'm going to teach you some skills. And those skills are to show that you are strong enough not to fight, that you are strong enough to defend yourself and your family and your community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would never, like I, because I was trained with him, like I could knock you out, but I don't want to knock you out. I want to back you off. And then by backing you off, you're going to fall down if I just go like that to you. <laughs> <laughs> if you were trying to fight me. I ask a question to everyone that I have a conversation, these conversations with, mm -hmm. and that question is, what is community to you? Let me have a C on this. Yeah. Community, wherever you are, 
is about taking the time to understand where everyone else is and then designing ways to knit together all of those different ways of thinking and being and coming to places of agreement that builds the energy of the individuals and the families. A community is a dynamic entity, if you will, and it requires growing every day and saying, oh, I learned something new about my neighborhood today. The man at the bike shop, I haven't seen him since pre-COVID, but the, when he was opening his shop, I was standing at the bus stop and I said, welcome to the community. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the, the way in which I use my artistic self, my creative self, is to be a cheerleader. And how do we provide a way of cheerleading in everyday life? Sometimes it can just be a smile. What skills do I have? What skills can I grow that can build me while building others? Just like I knocked on the window just now of the bike shop. I didn't have to do that. Oh. I could have I seen him in the window and not greeted him. Mm -hmm. But I thought, oh, there's Tyler. And I look at people and I say, how can I bring a smile to your day? You go down there, then I'll just push me back. How do you see Providence today? Well, what I find is that if I'm outside, people will tend to walk up to me because I have an open uh, aura about myself. So I probably know the life stories of more people in this town. Yeah. The, and it's not because I'm an anthropologist. I didn't walk up to them and say, um, I'm curious about... Mm -hmm. They just walk up to me. Oh, no. Oh, really? And then people start sharing what they want to share in that moment. You know, when it's time for me to go, okay, see you next time. I could walk into South Bronx right now and a similar energy with you. It's like me wa walking up to people who, oh, she's not gonna talk to me. Well, that's your choice. I will talk to you. Mm -hmm. No, I won't talk to you. I'll listen and speak with you, which is different than talk. Mm -hmm. Conversations. Dialogues. My time in India, I happened to have been there in 1977, which was not the most optimal time. And my late husband, George Houston Bass, was studying with Hope Theatre of India on a Fulbright Foundation scholarship. I actually studied dance in New Delhi, chow dance, which is a folk dance, not one of the classical dances. But the classical dances of India are based on the folk dances. And I studied Hindi. How do you feel when you dance? So I dance with my whole self. And I'm fortunate to have studied dance with Catherine Dunham, who is known as the mother of black dance. I've studied music. I play the violin. Um, I compose music. As we're sitting here, I can hear the birds singing in the trees. And it's ripping. My father is from Jamaica. Every part of Jamaica has a different way of doing things, saying things. And so, for me to say I'm a Jamaican is not for you to really understand who I am.
elevate, elevate, dance to the music. Elevate, elevate, dance to the music. So be aware you're entering a unit that is packing up to go to a new address. So come around this side. That's Ramona at Providence City Hall. And that's one of the rare times that they open the door, the front door to City Hall. And that is me um, when I was mascot for the city of Providence. How did you become a mascot? Become a mascot? I proposed. Oh, Elizabeth Arujo is in that picture. And April Brown, who was the editor, she was in my same theater class with Elizabeth. Lizzie. They were both in my theater class at high school. My message is what I said earlier. Wake up each day and bring cheerfulness in yourself and share it with someone else. So whether it is being done in a visual artist way or performance artist way or you're driving a bus, Learn something new every day and grow from it yourself. And then pass that knowledge and know-how on to someone else. So you're growing someone else. Now, I've given you a seed of knowledge. Please pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. And that is how wisdom grows. Having been involved in in Providence and its creative environments since 1968. There are people who are in certain professions where they could benefit from creative thinking and they may not be artists. I'm thinking about the Providence Police. I'm thinking about Providence Firefighters. I'm thinking about hospital workers. I'm thinking about people who work in courts. Be creative in how you work with your communities and keep your eye on the joy, not on the destroy. So the other side of the question is if you have a question that you would like to ask the city of Providence. Where's my check? <laughs> <laughs> I think my question to the creative people is what brings you joy and how do you grow that joy? It's really that simple. Grow joy. Thank you so much, Ramona. You're so generous. Thank you so much for sharing all this with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For sharing air with me. Thank you, Anna. For being with me. Thank you, Anna. May your joy grow.